Thanks for coming back to the channel, Scale Models Midwest, and this is David here in Altoona, Iowa, Tuesday evening. And I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little update on the 70 Coronet Super B that I've been working on. The model, as you see here, I've got about three coats, uh, two light and one kind of like heavy coat of the uh, 2970 Gomengo from Testers, the Model Master. Um, I noticed something happened with this. I'm going to show you this in a moment, but as you can see, I've got this and I've also got uh, the Tamiya clear on it, a couple of coats. There's some orange peel. Obviously, I'm going to have to sand that out once this gas is out, but otherwise it, it turned out really good. I mean, I just have a couple areas that I just need to wet sand. I'll probably start with... Um, Standard, you know, 2400 grit and work my way up to the 12,000 as before. Notice one thing here is a bit of a drip. I'm going to let that dry and then I will lightly sand that. That is nothing but clear. As you can see that look close to the very front part. Again, this is a relatively quick build, but I'm still going to have some fun putting it together. The interior I'm going to do in white, as you can see here. And I'll do... Um, black flocking for the package shelf as well as for the carpet seats are also done up in white I wanted to kind of have a little pop so i did this in um the tamiya ts45 uh pearl white Want a little bit of you know pop to it so it looked out pretty good what didn't turn out pretty good was the hood when I put the uh, coat of clear on it, the first clear, went on okay. And I probably should have left it at that. But knowing that I needed to get a couple of coats so you don't sand through the clear and get to the paint, I waited 10 minutes for it to flash, put another coat on, waited 10 more minutes, and put a third and final more wet coat of the clear. And then this happened. If you can see... It has checked something fierce. I think every modeler has had this happen to them at least a dozen times. So I'm just going to let it dry. Then I will strip the paint off the hood and start over. I'm half tempted to go with a flat black hood to go with this because... And I'm going to have to go and look back at the Hot Rod articles and uh, Roadkill, Roadkill Garage and see if Freeburger did his with a black hood or if it was the same color as the body. Um, I don't know. I think a solid body would be good, especially if we're going to be putting Steve Zimmerman's rims on it and putting that thing in the weeds. But, um, uh, give me your thoughts. Should I do a flat black hood or should I go on ahead and repaint it in the same 2970? And of course I'm going to exercise caution this time and hopefully have a better result with the clear but anyhow like i said turns out really good just have to color stand it a bit and then we're all well and done um i wanted to show you one part too before we go the front grill piece if um you look at the box art try and do this without it tipping over you have to paint the front nose piece and that gets missed a lot when people build these kits and I almost missed it myself, but I masked it carefully. What do you think? I think it did pretty good. That's going to look good when we finally put it in the kit. Right now I'll just kind of mock it up. So, I don't know. kind of like it. And I think that'll work whether I've got a flat black hood or uh, orange hood. But I'll let you decide. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you think solid orange, or if I should go on ahead and strip it and go flat black. Uh, I mean, either way, I'm going to strip the paint off of the hood. And um, I've had that happen before. No biggie. But um, that's pretty much it for this evening. You know, I see I've got pretty much all the parts over here and what parts I don't have. They're still in the paint, paint booth drying. Um, I'm going to start putting it together. And hopefully, uh, more like a Thursday update, I'll have some of the pieces together and by then, I'll have uh, looked at your comments and 
hopefully get that hood stripped. So this happens, guys and ladies. This happens. Not a make-or-break deal. Not a contest quality model. And even if it was, this can be repaired. With that, I'm going to let you go. Have a great night out there. And as always, if you see a kit that you like, go out and buy it. Build it. And if you want to show it off here on this channel, send me some pictures. And uh, my email will be in the description. And I'll put it up on a future video. See you in the next one.